Hi, my name is Brad, and this is my beautiful wife, Hillary. We have two kids, and since we don't have any relatives except, like, our grandparents, but they live far away, and they're way too old to take care of our children, our children will be coming with us. Yeah, my name is Hillary. Um, we live in Montreal, Canada, along with two pets and two children. Um, we're not having very much going on. Me and Brad have been together for 15 years, and he gave me this baby with mo most of his money. And then on our first date after... I gave I gave her this because she's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to move, so... Yeah, it's... Bye! Exciting. Hi, it's me, Hillary, on my second diary entry. Um, our brigade is about to depart. And luckily, I found Brad and my pets and my kids right away. Um, everyone else was, like, really panicky. Some were praying on the deck, and some were just, like, screaming. It's crazy. So my kids, they started yodeling because that makes them happy. And we started in, and we got all really happy. And um, then we just hung out, and now we're on our way. So look Hi, it's me, Brad, again. Yeah, diary, still diary entry too, but yeah, mm, I'm excited to become a voyage with my wife and two kids. I mean, mm, but uh, I don't know how my children are gonna react. Are they gonna be? Are they gonna be happy? Are they gonna be sad? I don't. Are gonna be homesick? I don't know. And I do share the values with everyone, but you know, Hillary can be a little greedy. Um, but at least I do, and I take, like, everything seriously. Yeah, so we share everything. Bye. Hi, uh, it's me, Brad. Diary entry three. Yeah, and I feel great about leaving a donation at St. Anne's Church, but I feel a little uneasy, too, because we're going to unfamiliar land, and I don't know what to expect. What if I don't like it? What if the kids don't like it? What if Hillary doesn't like it? Um, I don't know. It could be like, the land could be icky, it could be swampy, there could be a major disease going around, my family could catch it, and I don't, I don't know, it's a risk we have to take, though. So, wish me luck. I need it. Hi, it's me, Hillary, day three. Um, I'm super, super, super glad with myself, because I just left a donation at St. Anne's Church. Um, I also did feel a little, like, unguaranteed of myself because you should have kept a few dollars for, like, our own sake and stuff because we're, we're poor, you know? And, but, I was going to church for a good cause and I feel great about that. So, I'm also feeling a little uneasy along with that. I feel like Brad might not like the land, I might not like the land, my kids are going to be homesick or they won't like the land, something like that. But... We're just going to have to get used to it because this is where we're going to be for a while. And if they don't like it, well then, too bad, so sad. I also have news to tell Brad. And I'm so nervous because I don't know how I'm supposed to tell him. I can't just say, oh, hey, Brad, I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a child. But <sighs> it's overwhelming. It's all very overwhelming. Hi, it's me, Hillary, and Brad again. Um, we are very nervous because the water in the Great Lakes is getting very rough, and the, the skies are darkening. I just saw lightning. I just heard thunder. And there's also a canoe approaching us. Oh, no, what is going to do? So we're just really nervous right now, and we don't really want the future to come unless it's good. Okay, and... Yeah, we like really worried. I mean, we don't know if they're gonna hurt us, if they're gonna hurt Hillary, if they're gonna hurt our kids, or they're gonna give us rum, which I'm ex okay, I shouldn't be excited about that. Rum. But, like, I'm still really worried about, like, I don't know, but our leader, he decided to just keep going on, and I didn't think that decision was right, but, you know, he's our leader, and we have to listen. I wish I was a leader, but yeah, I don't think that'll ever happen, so.
Hi. Hi, it's me, Brad, again, and it's day five. We just went to the Grand Portage. It was super, super exciting. I was all woozy, and I was gambling, and I almost lost all my, I mean, our money. And, yeah, I met this guy named Joseph. Renville. He talked about his dad being a slave, his mom being a Ojibwe, and you know, it was super fun. Bye. It's me, Hillary, on day five. I'm really happy right now for what? Three reasons. Three reasons. Um, first reason, I met a girl named Rhonda. She's like the best lady ever. She let me yodel, and we did poems on the stage, and we sang like crazily. Second thing I'm really happy about is I had my first cup of rum. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. You should have it sometime. It is delicious. Um, I had like five gallons of that, and I can still barely walk. That part I'm not happy about, but still. Um, and lastly, I'm happy that I have come to a decision of telling Brad tomorrow that I'm pregnant, and I'm super excited. So see you guys later. Hey, it's me, Hillary, Diary Entry 6, and I'm super nervous. We just reached the rapids, and me and Brad have been discussing whether or not to run the rapids or to just chill for a while. Um, I even told him out of nervousness that I was pregnant and that it would be really hard to run the rapids in a pregnant belly. So <sighs> hopefully he takes that advice seriously and doesn't freak out. Um... Otherwise, I'm super nervous, so wish me luck. Hey, it's me, Brad, Diary Entry 6. We just crossed the rapids. They were so scary. We almost slipped, and one of our kids almost fell. Oh, my God, that would have been so bad. Oh, oh my gosh, but still, like, oh, my gosh, I'm just happy because, actually, Hillary wasn't gaining weight. She was just pregnant. Wait, wait, she was pregnant? Oh, my gosh. Wait, I should be happy. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm happy. Oh, my gosh. Also, if you want to know, I did shave my mustache because it was getting, you know, too long. But still, crossing the rapids was really scary. But Hillary and me decided on it. So, bye. Hey, it's me, Brad. Final diary entry. And after working a long, hard, like, a long time, me and Hillary are just thinking about moving back to Montreal, Canada to live like a new life and we just don't want to pay all that money because we don't have that kind of money i mean we don't know if we're gonna be able to afford it but that's why we're moving so wish us luck back in montreal canada bye hi it's me hillary um i'm at my final diary entry oh my gosh um we are for sure moving back to montreal which is really exciting they have a map to prove it this is our route map the route map shows like rocks and a dotted line and this green patch. That's where we're headed. We're traveling the dotted line. So hopefully it'll be scenic. Hopefully nothing bad. And hopefully we don't die. Anyways, we are running away from Minnesota for like two reasons now. Brad can't take the work and there's so much debt to pay. We ran away because of debt. Get. So, we have like seven mansions worth of debt and a pantry full of food. We could never afford that. We'd have to work for like what? 80 years, our entire life! So, we're running away. Hopefully, they don't find us, and hopefully, we're not culprits. Bye!